I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, diffuse midline glioma. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 16-year-old male who presents with a headache and an altered gait. Taking a look at the MRI of the brain, here the flare image, we note a brainstem lesion centered on the pons. It's ventral, bilateral, symmetric, and engulfs the basilar artery. There's no post-contrast enhancement, and there's extension cranially into the cerebral peduncles, left greater than right. There's also involvement of the left thalamus. Pathology revealed a diffuse midline glioma. Previously, these tumors were known as diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma. This case demonstrates the reason for the change in naming convention, the involvement of additional structures, as in this case, the thalamus. The vast majority of these cases will have a mutation in H3K27M, which was confirmed in this case following a biopsy. Diffuse midline glioma is most common in young children and located in the pons. They are also seen elsewhere in the midline, including the thalamus, the medulla, the spinal cord. On CT, they appear hypodense. On MRI T1 weighted, there's decreased intensity, heterogeneous on T2 weighted, and minimal post-contrast enhancement. DWI and ADC is usually normal. Due to the high rate of severe complications with biopsy, treatment has historically been commenced without histological confirmation. Although, due to the recent identification of of distinct mutations, stereotactic biopsies being performed in some centers. Prognosis remains poor, with a two-year survival of less than 10%.